let me show you a quick and easy way to make legumes that will absolutely be delicious and will not take the whole day. Let's go ahead and get started. Hi guys welcome back to my channel I don't know if I should be welcoming you guys back or you guys should be welcoming me back it's been a minute and I am so happy to be making long videos again so let me show you how I make this legume so I wasn't planning on making legumes but I had papaya fresh from my mom's garden from Florida that my grandmother sent me so I thought I'd make legume with it and stick around because I'm gonna tell you a little secret about green papaya in Haiti why sometimes we consume it so for this legume, it's supposed to be just green papaya, but I didn't have a lot, I only had a couple. So I added some eggplant to it, of course, and I added other vegetables that I had, but the green papaya is really the key thing. And eggplant are also really good in legume, obviously. You can also make eggplant legume if you want. I have a video, I will link it in the description box below, or click on the screen right here and you can check it out. But let me tell you, just get your green papayas. Mines are starting to ripe but you can see the little bit yellow but not really ripe so peel it remove the seeds and then dice them legume is one of my favorite dishes and there's so many ways so many versions you could make and some people don't even know but i will show you guys all the different versions that you have made i've also made an eggplant legume i will also list that one so you can check it out but for this video for the meat I am using for the protein, I am using smoked turkey because it's so much quicker to cook in. Like I said, this video, this recipe will be easy. So if you want to know how I marinate, season the turkey, check out this video and then you will see how. But for this, like I said, I am just using everything that I have in the house because I didn't want to throw them out. So to cook the legume, I cook them together. Some people cook, you know, the papaya, the vegetables separate from the meat, but I like to cook them together because of the flavor from the meat get to the vegetables omg right so add your to cook it add your thyme parsley pepper if you want it spicy i added a little bit of oil because i didn't want it to stick to the bottom if you are using meats like cow foot or any other fatty meats you won't need that much oil because it will make its own oil so i added a few carrots because i had one that was you know going bad i didn't want i don't like my food going bad so i'm using everything that i had in my fridge to to say because I don't want to waste them but you don't have to put all these things but honestly if you put them you will still absolutely love it because it's vegetables that's the beautiful thing about legume it's all vegetables so whatever vegetables you have in the house you don't want to go to waste make a leg make legume with it you know I mean not cucumbers though <laughs> you know what I mean but like not cucumbers so go ahead and stuff it in and let it cook while this is cooking if you're actually enjoying this video go ahead and subscribe if you've missed me at least go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more what I did cooking this I covered it with plastic. I didn't show it because I don't want, you know, the social media police to come after me. I don't have time for that. But, because you see how full it was. But you don't have to do that. Or you can also use aluminum foil, tin foil to do it. But I use plastic because I'd like to do that. But you're free to do your, to make your own choice, right? So, once it's cooked, it takes about 40 minutes to cook. Not really 40, like 30 30, 30, 30 to 40 minutes because you know the meat has to be fully cooked and the turkey is not gonna take that long so between 30 and 40 minutes so when it's cooked go ahead and remove the vegetables from the meat and go ahead and mash it and use a pilon if you don't have you could use a mm, potato masher but do not blend it if you blend it you will be oh my gosh I don't even want to say it I haven't been on YouTube for a long time. I forgot how to do voiceovers. But go ahead and mash it all the way through. Like I said before, well, I didn't say before, but after you put your stuff together, you're cooking it, cook it on medium-high heat for 30 to 40 minutes. It shouldn't take too long because you don't have that many vegetables and it's not a lot. So after you've done that, so my meat kind of burned a little bit, so be careful. So go ahead and add some tomato paste for color. This is optional. You don't have to add tomato paste. I like the color, so I always add tomato paste because I love the color that it has. It gives it. So go ahead and add your tomato paste. Keep stirring until the tomato is fully dissolved. You can go ahead and add a little bit of water, but I don't because, you know, the legume sometimes make it make its own water. So after our tomato has been uh, dissolved, the tomato paste, go ahead and add your mashed vegetables and then keep stirring until everything is evenly 
coated and everything is nice and then go ahead and taste it to see if you need to add more seasoning so like I said one of the best ways the easiest way to have really good legumes to make sure you marinate your meat really really well so all the flavors from the meat get to the vegetable it will be so good and then when you're cooking the legume you won't need so much stuff you won't need to add all of that thing you know what I mean so after I did that I tasted it and I was like hmm I could add a little salt and I add a little bit of adobo and that was it so all the flavor comes from the meat and a little butter of course because butter makes everything nice makes everything better so add that and then go ahead and stir again and let it simmer on the heat on low for 10 to 15 minutes and then you can eat your legume you can eat this with white rice vegetable uh any type of roots you like i eat mine with yellow yam because i love yellow yam you can eat it with maggi corn or grits any anything it's so good i even eat it like that but honestly with just rice and beans oh this is heaven i hope you guys like this video if you did like it go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you want to be alerted every time i post a video go ahead and click on the notification bell button turn it on so that way you know every time i post a video and if you guys will be trying this let me know but let me tell you in haiti pregnant women are fed green papaya because it helps produce more milk so if you didn't know that well now you know something about my culture so go ahead and like this video and thank you so much leave a comment in the description leave a comment below and let me know if you will be trying this dish i am sorry that i'm so i'm speaking like this i can't even talk oh my gosh bye